Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're gonna review the Telos DST. This board is available in 150, 154, 158, and 162. This board features Telos's hybrid POW camber, which is a very mellow, traditional camber through the middle with an elongated rocker in the tip and the tail. So basically, it's cam rocker. Just throw all that out there, but it almost rides like traditional camber. I rode this board at Arapaho Basin on a day that was sunny bluebird with no wind and perfect corduroy conditions. I mean, the corduroy was absolutely perfect. It wasn't crowded. I never had to worry about dodging people. And I rode it with my K2 Thraxxus boots and my K2 Indy bindings. This is a free ride board that's geared towards carving. It's stiff, it's aggressive, there's not a crazy amount of torsional flex. The one thing you're gonna notice though is there's a unique flex point right behind the front insert. You'll feel it when you lean back, when you're driving the board. It's just, it's unique in how this board rides. Now, stability wise, this board does a great job of trying to dissipate any energy that comes back. You'll notice that it does a good job with micro vibration dampening, but the bigger ones, you're gonna feel it. This board just resonates energy. This is a board that has a lot of rebound and snap to it, and that energy has to go somewhere, and it's going into your knees. As I've stated, this board has a lot of energy. When you're trying to load it up and pop, that energy has to go somewhere. So it goes from the middle of the board through the tail and just, it's got a rubber band effect to it. You, you know, it's like you're pulling it out and it's just springing right back to you. This board is easy to engage, but it's aggressive. And that lighter weight to it, you're gonna notice that you're popping harder and higher and going further with it. Why would you even bother to butter with this thing? Just, no, don't. All right, so here's the big thing about carving with this board. It rolls and transitions from edge to edge smoother than anything else I've ever been on. This board, when it gets on edge, it's on edge, and it wants you to know it. If you want to load up and really drive into a carve, you can, and it'll spring you right back out, and then you can roll over onto the other edge and do the same thing. Short, tight, quick turns, long, hard, drawn out carves, Euro carves, everything. This board is amazing at carving. I cannot stress that enough. This board just has such a unique flex pattern to it and it's so stiff and there's so much rebound out of it that the more energy you put in, the more you're going to get out of it when you're on edge. You want to just crush anything in your path? Here you go. You want to become the bank slalom champion? This is it. Right here. This board is 100% for someone that wants to haul ass and leave a trench in their path. Last year, the day before I was gonna ride this, I mangled my knee and I was taken out. I wish that hadn't happened. I wish I could have gotten on this board last year. That's how amazing this thing is for turning. This board has so much energy in it and it just wants to carve. This board is fucking phenomenal at carving. If you've been sleeping on Telos or you've been sleeping on getting a carving board, look no further than the DST. Serious, just, just get one. Comparable boards, the Battalion Carver. The LipTech Hot Knife actually comes to mind with this. The Capita Kazu would probably be up there. This has been my review of the Telos DST. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Are you getting one? Have you considered buying one? Do you even know who Telos is? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation. If you're new around here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the snowboarding content we've got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you'd really like to support us and the network we're trying to build out and to just do more content, creative things for all you snowboarders, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. It's the best way to support us. As always, I've been your host, Averin Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.